nice to have Arlene Dickinson on. It's already brewing oh, over here goodness. on the panel. Arlene talking about taking control of your life, especially when things don't go as planned. And sometimes on this panel, we'll have conversations about things that are serious to your life, and you'll say, how could you sit there and make jokes at the things that make us cry? It's only because the tears are covered up by the laughter. Mm. Tonight, we're talking about divorce. Oh. Splitting up with your partner, shall we? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Arthur Simeon is back. And Esther Frontowski is here. Yeah. Humble yeah. Howard. Right. So here we are. It's like the panel of joy is what this is. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take control. No, what's, your, listen, what's your little question? It's lovely to see you guys. Nice to see you, sir. So here we are in the, in the beginning of January now, 2014. If someone's spent enough time with their partner, they've come to realize that they love them more than they thought or they really need to find a way to get out of this relationship, and which is true for lots of people. So yep. uh, never been uh, married, never been engaged. What's your status? Never been married, never been engaged. I was engaged when I was young. Uh, no longer engaged. Did, now, are you allowed to talk about how it ended? Yes, oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, I uh, had proposed to my ex fiance on a, on a reality TV show, uh, an early Sweet. incarnation of a reality TV show. Uh, probably one of the worst ideas. And then, well, how did it end? Oh, uh, I, with just some aggressive fighting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Uh, did you end it or did he? Uh, you know, it was amicable, which I'm sure we'll talk more about. <laughs> Howard, your status? Um, uh, married, now divorced. Couple times. <laughs> nice. Nice. You know, I might even get married and divorced during this panel. <laughs> we got you know, I'm not sure to who. I'm, a, hey. I'm looking I'm forward available. to your proposal. Yeah, you are. <laughs> How do you know when the right time it, it, is upon you to leave? Well, I think when you look at that other person and you think, I wish you'd have an affair. <laughs> you, when you look at that person, you think, I wish you'd go out and meet somebody nice, Atta just boy. to take the pressure off. For me, it's always like when I look outside the window and the sun is coming up, time is, <laughs> right. it's time for me to go. It's time for me, it's time for me to head out. I, yeah. that, that can be a very lonely place, you know, I, I can imagine, can yes, imagine. I can imagine. I think when you can, uh, you start to get uh, irritated by the things they do, like the, Breathing, yeah. <laughs> and chewing. Like when they, when you're sort of tired of their very existence, you're like, hey, could you keep the existence a little quieter? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think like every relationship, uh, you know, it's coming to an end when she tells you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> especially, especially if she does it, if she does it like on Facebook. Right. Like, yeah. You, you go to bed in a relationship, you wake up the next day single because Facebook tells you. Right. Um, <laughs> I'm not saying happened to me, but anyways. Uh... But isn't that kind of liberating? I would much rather be dumped on Facebook or by a text message so I don't have to make my way to the coffee shop and go through that bull. Just yeah. text me. I'm yeah. good. We're good. I'm done. Yeah, I don't want to head all the way downtown to be told I'm fired. I yeah. mean, that's happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> but save me the the the, surus. Save you the right. that's, yeah. that's Hebrew talk. Yeah. Save me the aggravation right. of going there so you do it face to face. What's the most awkward part of a split for you? I mean, it'd be different if you have kids, I guess. It's awkward for everyone, but I think you know, in, if I may be serious, you know, in a lot of relationships, you know, in the '60s and '70s, our parents, a lot of our parents, stayed together because. They didn't know how to break up. And right. I think a lot of cases now, people break up for better. In fact, it actually improves the relationship. And, and I think in a lot of my personal guy, I've had to have a great relationship with my ex. Have you ever had an amicable split, like legitimately? I don't know, I haven't. I haven't personally, but I think the, it's possible uh, to have an amicable, for example, if one of you dies. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is pretty, that is pretty amicable. Okay, so it, sometimes I suppose it can get that serious, but obviously uh, with those big breaks in your life, there can be a positive. And so we're gonna take that lemons and make it lemonade when we come back. That's right, my friends. We have a live studio audience, and it's a lot of fun. It's even better, too, because, my friends, it is free. So free. I'd love it if you join us. Go to strombo.com slash tickets to find out how. All right. You are back here on the program. Obviously, we're discussing the concept of breakups, not to be overly glib about it, but listen, when you're 14 years old, your favorite band breaking up could be as significant uh, in your life. It certainly was for me. If you go to strombo.com, we have a list of some of the great breakups, positives out of uh, being divorced. So, like, I've had my biggest life lessons after a breakup. I think there's a lot of uh, silver linings when you break up with someone. 
Uh, I mean, breakup sex, every guy knows, is the best five minutes of any man's life. Yeah. Uh, the only difficult part is trying to swing it. Can I just interject? Yeah. If your breakup sex only lasts five minutes, you might have an indication as to why you broke up in the first place. George, there's no need to be judgmental. Yeah. There's no need. That was, uh, I want to hand for the panel, everybody. I hope your relationships <laughs> last for thousands and thousands of years, not just this life, but in the next one. At iFrentowski, that's what you can find on Esther on Twitter. Yeah. Arthur Simeon, he's at yeah. Arthur it's Simeon. Oh, yeah! Humble Howard, everybody. Humbleandfred.com. It's a pleasure to be with you. Good things. Thanks, Arthur.